you know, because the guy walks a tightrope, right? So he gets up there and there's a drum roll and he goes like, <laughs> like that, right? And so, ooh, 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 ooh. gets out there, he goes, <laughs> you know, and then he gets back and he goes, like, and you go, oh, wow. Now, he never falls. Why? Because I'm guessing, at least it's good for this lesson, whether it's true or not. After they all leave, he goes, oh, I left my handkerchief out there. <laughs> it must be, he can walk that tightrope the way you and I walk on the sidewalk. He just makes it look like he might fall because it makes a better show. But if it was that hard, he would fall sometimes. Nobody does something that's not muscle memory right all the time. And when they do it right all the time, it must be muscle memory. And, and again, in the book, I said, use a fork. You've used it even in your young life thousands of times. You ever miss your mouth? I know, you know, yeah, that one night, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. There could be reasons that you might. But if you missed it eight times out of like 50,000, that's mastery still. How many times do you lose the, your place in the form? How about if you only lost your place in the form eight times out of 50,000 times? How about if your eighth notes were killing every time except for eight times out of 50? You know, in other words, muscle memory. So what we do in practicing is we try to establish the next level, not that level, the next level of muscle memory that pulls the playing up to another level of precision. That's the other side of the brain. Precision creates an open environment for creativity. That is the whole message. You want to become a nerd for practicing technique because the more technique you have, the, the less you have obstructing you when you want to be creative. I think it's a good place to hold it, right? Okay.